Oh, it's great. This is what my tailgate looks like. You see how it's got that crease right there in the center? It's got a bent piece right there. This is all smashed. The side of it's crushed. It doesn't open right. This, uh, this little thing right here, this cable's broken. Both the cables on that other one work perfect. So, so it saved me a lot of trouble of having to replace that. This side only has this damaged spot here, but it does have a hole in it. See that? And it's got one ding. We can call that a dent, I take it. it looks good otherwise on this side. I think it's kind of got a crease here. And a gap. This is what it looks like to have a truck bed inside of your truck bed. I still got an extra six feet. I might have been able to put two truck bags and two truck beds in here. This guy told me that the tailgate was no good because it has that dent right there. Well, my tailgate is so beat up, I can't even get it to open. So I'm just glad to have something that will actually open. And this one opens perfectly. This is a very clean bed. This is a long bed for my 6.7 Cummins 2008 model. I'm planning to get the inside right aligned, or I guess that spray on bed liner, whatever brand, brand that is, and then get it painted to match the truck. Here's what it looks like after having the repair done to my truck. I'm just going to give you an idea of everything that I had done. The fender flares, I had all those replaced. They were like 80 bucks on eBay. I also had them painted to match the bed and the color of the truck. They don't look as shiny of, as a finish though after they were painted. This trim piece, that was something I had to buy that was extra. It's specifically for the fender flares. It seems to work okay, but it doesn't really match. Like It doesn't really fit that great in the corners. So the bed was just completely replaced as well, as well as the tailgate. The bumper, I bought a brand new one. They're only like a hundred bucks, so that was super cheap. And I got one that could just be painted, so it just had primer on it. So I had that painted to match the color of the truck. Because I just thought it would look so much better that way. That's the way my dad's truck is. Where the rear bumper just matches the color of the truck rather than having the chrome bumper. The front bumper, I'm going to end up changing that so it won't be chrome either. That's going to end up having a brush guard, which I've already bought. One thing that I really am enjoying about it is the fact that I can open this without any trouble. The back I had the liner done. I had that done by Linex in Greensboro. For some reason it's been looking rusty right there. I think, think something was laid on it. 
That's just how I got it back after I got it back from the body shop. The hole was drilled for the fifth wheel hitch and for these tie downs. The 3500 normally has steel hooks, but this one only has plastic hooks. So that was kind of a downgrade, but it doesn't really matter for what I'm planning to use it for. This, I don't know, I guess that's for the fifth wheel. I think that's a plug connector for that. There's another plug here, which I don't really know what that one's for, but that one's the same plug as inside of the bed. Then there's another connector under it for a normal trailer. The tail lights are different because it's an 06 now on the bed and before it had 08 tail lights because that's what the truck what year the truck is so this one's a long bed i don't know if you've watched any of the other videos i had but so it's got the eight foot bed on it well, the bed's in perfect shape now the cab really wasn't in that bad of shape but there's a couple dings that i'm going to show you how to repair there's one right there. That one wouldn't really be that hard to get out. There's a bit of damage right here, but I already started getting those out, but I need to get that glue off of there. This one used to be a lot worse than what it looks like now. Were these uh, fender flares were on there before? I've since replaced them, but I guess the, it didn't really line up the same. But you can see where they didn't have trim, on, like a rubber trim on there, and it dug into the paint. And it's got a little ding there that I started getting out, and it looks a lot better. A little bit of a ding or crease right there. I'm going to work on getting out. Otherwise, the body is in really great shape. And mechanically wise, it's in good working order too. So that's the transformation after having the bed replaced. As far as cost wise, I spent around $4,000 just to have the bed, uh, like, well, all the work done totally because one the paint and then the bed liner so the bed liner was like 550 as a service six hundred dollars is what i paid for the bed the i paid a hundred dollars for the bumper which was a really good deal body work to have the bed perfected because it had some damage to it was uh paint labor and miscellaneous i guess i think it was like thirty one hundred dollars which they also removed the old bed, put the new one on there. They welded up a hole where there was a hole for a exhaust stack. And then they also cut for the fifth wheel uh, hitch part too. So, I mean, they did a lot of mechanical work. So for the price, I wasn't really that worried about it. But that's kind of a lot of money to spend just to repair something on the truck that was really not that necessary, but I really wanted a good looking truck.